This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning's courses are easy to navigate, and their structure is much more straightforward than traditional training programs. Try it for yourself, and then bring the whole team along. For individuals, use the code TWIT30 for 30% off a standard or premium individual IT Pro membership at go.acilearning.com slash twit. There are, of course, uh, many people will microchip their pets, uh, and that is a, a tiny little uh, device about the size of a grain of rice that goes uh, underneath the skin of the animal. Um, and then if your animal is ever lost, uh, it can be taken to a place that has uh, a microchip reader. They read the chip and then looking at the database uh, or a number of databases, depending on if you've registered your microchip with those databases, uh, the dog can be returned to you or the pet, I should say, can be returned to you. Uh, but there are a number of reasons why that could uh, not result in your pet being returned to you um, as quickly as you would like. Of course, there's uh, pet thievery, which would obviously result in uh, that, that chip not coming in handy. Um, there's the chance that the person might not know about taking it to a place where it can be scanned. I mean, any number of things. And so there are other ways to keep track of your pet. Um, one of those that we've talked about before, it's not a recommendation um, provided by Apple directly. Uh, they never use this as, they never list this as one of the use cases for AirTags, but I know quite a few folks now who do use AirTags uh, to keep track of their pet. Um, but there are purpose-built devices that can help you keep track of your pet. And one of those is Whistle, the smart pet tracker. With Whistle, you have a little charm, um, and I should say little is relative. If you've got a dog that is uh, mid-sized or larger, then it's a little charm that goes on the collar of the dog. Um, if you have a small dog like I do, then it's about the size of their head, so it's not quite little um, in comparison. But with different whistle devices, because they sell a few different options, you'll get different uh, features that come as part of the tracking. And I'm going to get to the tracking last because I want to talk about the other features that you can get uh, that are kind of included. Um, many of the trackers also include pet tracking features. So with those pet tracking features, you can uh, know about how your dog is moving around, are they staying active. Um, there are uh, features for the, the one that I have and have tested in the past has a little light on it, a little LED light so that if you are walking your dog at night, you can turn that light on and it will show you where your dog is as well as just provide some general light in that area. Um, some of them can, can make some sounds, um, but primarily uh, many of these trackers uh, feature a little cellular radio inside. And so you pay every month to a cellular carrier of some sort, um, a fee that lets the little SIM card essentially inside of this tracker uh, connect to the network. And when it does, it can use three different cell tower signals to essentially triangulate the location of your pet. That's how a lot of the um, location awareness works in many devices, unless the device has a GPS tracking service as part of it. Whistle does offer a GPS uh, tracking charm. It's bigger, so again, probably better for bigger dogs um, because it is instead using GPS in place of cellular. And then I know they also offer a uh, collar. Uh, their collar is the most expensive device. Um, it is the sleekest of the devices, so better for smaller pets, arguably. Um, what I found for me with my very tiny dogs is that this thing ended up being practically a weight around their neck, um, so it was not uh, an ideal solution for my dogs. Uh, but if you have, you know, a very common breed uh, that tend to be at least middle-sized or larger, uh, medium-sized or larger, then this can be a great device for you. 
uh, depending on what you're doing. And there, it's talking about how um, they're using AT&T's 4G network to do the uh, tracking for this whistle. So, yeah, um, they are... I, I know um, a couple of folks who have uh, gone the way of Whistle and are very happy with their devices, not only for the uh, purposes of, of finding a lost dog, but also for those activity tracking features um, that kind of encourage the use of the device outside of, of walks. Um, I don't know about you, Rosemary. I, I don't know if you've ever owned dogs or had dogs as pets, but... Um, I had a uh, good friend who um, unfortunately lost um, I, I, who's, her, her dog died um, because the dog was wearing a collar inside the home and um, got tangled up in something inside the home uh, and unfortunately passed away. So I don't keep collars on my dog except when they're being used for walking them around uh, going places. So they don't wear collars inside the home because I don't want to lose them to something like that. Uh, so in that way, the whistle, like I didn't get that extra value of the whistle as an activity tracker. So for me, uh, it was already big and didn't, uh, I didn't need to have it inside the home because I couldn't put it on anything. So it was not worth it for me there, but outside of the home, an excellent choice um, for folks to be able to to keep track of their animals. Um, and I think also I, I met some of the folks who um, who've not founded the company, but uh, have worked at the company for a long time. And they are genuine pet lovers, which I think is always kind of a good feeling inside. So they're, they're all about it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the only thing I can say about collars, um, because I uh, had a cat growing up um, and um, he... Uh, we would always take his collar off when we needed to groom him and he we got the impression that he didn't love the collar but he would make a point of being like you forgot to put my collar back on <laughs> see my neck my neck doesn't have a collar um, but we would also always make sure it was one of the um, stre stretchy ones with the emergency breakaway so if yes. it got snagged on like a branch or something um, then it would just like ping off and he could always wriggle out of it yeah um, they make those good. breakaway so. uh, collars for cats especially um, mm. and I think I, I kind of won. Her dogs are small enough, Micah. Yeah. You could use cat collars they on could, them. They could have breakaway collars. But um, you know what? They've been yeah. collarless for so long that I think they'd be doing the opposite, going, why are you putting this on me when I'm inside? Actually, they'd be going, are we going outside right now? Are we going outside? Yeah. <laughs>